Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a folded card on Canva. It's going to be very, very easy. We're going to start with a template. So what we're going to do is we're going to log in or sign in into our Canva account. If you haven't had one already, all you have to do is go to canva.com and start creating your account. So for those who don't know, Canva actually have two types of account. The first one is the free account and the second one is the pro account. And I'm going to explain what's the difference as we do the design. So first things first, let's try and search for cards here on the search bar and what it does is that it's going to give us a bunch of templates that we can use in order to create our design you can obviously create one from scratch if you let's say already have a design that you want to create in mind you can always click this create a design part and then you can click on custom size and enter the card size that you want you can enter it in the form of pixels inches millimeters as well as centimeters but I'm just going to show you how we can do it through templates today because I do find this one way, way easier to do than just to start from scratch since most of the time I got some sort of art block and I don't really know where to start. So I think I like the one that looks like this. It looks pretty nice. And let's say that you find something that you want to customize but it's missing something and you would like to see more example like the one that you just choose, you can go ahead and scroll down and they're going to give you a bunch of example or a bunch of templates that are similar to the one that you've chosen. So remember that I told you about the free account as well as the pro account. These crown symbol are one of the things that are going to tell you which one you can use with the free account and which one you can use with the pro account. So if you see any crown symbol like this one, it means that this is not available for the free account. You will need to upgrade your account first, but don't worry. I believe that Canva can give you 30 days trial to enjoy the benefit of the pro account. So you can try that on if you want to. So I kind of like this astronaut one. I think I'm going to go with these ones right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that design and we're going to go ahead and click on customize this template. Now you might be wondering if we are going to create a folded type of card, why do I choose the one that looks like it is definitely not made for the folded card? Now don't worry. Every single template that Canva has is totally customizable. So every single element can be moved around, etc. And again, if you are going to start with a template, I strongly advise you not to use it as it is. For example, I find a template like this. I wouldn't want to use it just as it is. I would want to change some things, maybe the color palette or maybe the tags so that I don't steal other people's idea or I don't steal other people's work of art because if you're using it as it is it's sort of similar to stealing other people's design and we wouldn't want that all right so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to add a guideline to our design so that we know where the folds going to be and I like to do it by going to the settings sections right here and click on add guides. Here they're going to give you some selections of guidelines like this one is the one for 12 column and then we got the three column as well as three by three grid. But we just need two part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the custom part right here. I'm going to remove the gap because I don't want to have any gap. And for the column, I only need two. And then I'm going to go ahead and click add guides. Now, as you can see, we got this purple line in the middle of our cards and this is going to be our guideline. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make this smaller so that it's going to fit in here. 
Then I'm also going to make this astronaut ones a little bit smaller, like so. And I'm going to put the happy birthday over here. I think I'm going to change the font combination. I'm not quite satisfied with this one yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the text sections right here. And you can add a regular text box by clicking on any of the selection and it's going to bring the text box into your design. Or you can just scroll down until you find your desired font selection. So you can see that there is a bunch of font selection that we can use. I kind of like this one. So I think I'm going to use this as the happy birthday font. I'm going to ungroup this first and then I'm going to delete this one. Then I'm going to change this to happy birthday like that. That looks really cute. I love how it looks like. And I'm going to delete this one. And I think I'm just going to delete the stars right here. Then I'm going to put it over here. Make it a little bit smaller. Put it in the middle like so. And I'm just going to make this a tad bigger so that people can actually read it. I'm also going to put it in the middle like so. Alright, so this looks really nice. But I think that I still want to change some of the element. For example, this sort of galactic or maybe this galaxy over here. I want to change the color. So I'm going to try and find the galaxy on the element section and see if we can find anything. I kind of want this to be blue-ish instead of purple-ish. So maybe I'm going to delete this one and add probably this one right here and we'll see if it's going to change something. Yeah, I like this one a lot better. So I'm going to put this here. Then I'm going to click on this triple dot and bring this to the back. All right, so that we got the planet in front of the galaxy. So you can see that there is a bunch of purple galaxy scattered around and I'm just going to delete all of them and change it to this blue galaxy. But I'm going to play around with the placement of the color. So you can see that we got this greenish bit. I'd say that I want this to be more on the blue side like so. Again, we're going to bring that to the back and then we're going to control C on it on our keyboard and control V. And this time I want the green to be the one that's visible like so. Last but not least, we got one over here, which is just going to be sort of like the opposite of this one, I believe. Maybe something like this that looks nice bring it all the way to the back like so all right i prefer this one way way better now let's see if we can change the color of the background so currently we got this color as the background let's say that i want it to be just a little bit bluer like so yeah i like it way better all right and that is my card so let's say that you want to also change the astronaut you can just go to the element section and search for astronaut or maybe you want to add any other element. You can also do that by simply typing on the elements that you want and put it into your design. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click on share and download your cards. And that's basically it. That is how you can create a folded card with canva i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day